share this season that you're training yourself to unlove your ex, um, Tristan. So just how'd you do that asking for a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't know, just if you have any paper or pen, I know. Like, I'm like, no, it's hard. I think it's the most ridiculous thing sometimes. Like when something doesn't work out and you're in a relationship and you're so deeply in love and people are like, oh yeah, well, why can't you? And I'm like, I think I might always still love that person. I don't know if that goes away. No, and I like, don't think it goes away. Like my ex-husband, I genuinely still love and I want the best for him and I'm rooting for him. Absolutely. But we all, I think, just change or evolve or you know that sometimes that's not, it's just not a right fit for you. Yeah. And what... When I said I'm learning how to unlove Tristan, I think people, whether it be family or friends or anyone that you're telling your story to, yeah. they're like, okay, so move on. And I'm like, oh, oh no. well, let me find the switch. Right, like it's yeah. not that easy. Yeah. Just even the habits that you built, the repetition, the routine, mm -hmm. like when something good happened, I would call Tristan or something bad or that's what I did. Any little thing, I would share my life with him. And so learning to just reprogram myself, like, even though if someone did something bad to me, it doesn't just mean I'm like, there's a wall and I built it up. I know that this isn't the right thing for me and I need to slowly heal and move on, but it doesn't happen overnight.